Well, today's heat left thousands of people taking part in the Warrior Dash race sweating. It also left dozens of them sick and dehydrated. And the end result? Few people crossing the finish line. Jake Peterson has the story. Yeah, Amy, the Warrior Dash is a two-day-long race and obstacle course. 16,000 people signed up, but not all were able to finish. The combination of heat and an obstacle course was just too much for some. This race is not for the faint of heart. I've done five Ks in my life, half marathons, but it doesn't compare to this. Laura Edel was one of the thousands that completed this unique competition, but it was still a struggle. It was fantastic. It was very hot, but it was just a lot of fun, a lot of um, obstacles that I've never done before, and I'm not sure I want to do again. The combination of running, jumping over fire, and swimming through the mud was too much for about 60 racers on Sunday. They were treated for heat illnesses, 13 of them taken away by ambulance. The emergency calls kept coming in, and so a decision was made. We got to the start line, and they decided to cancel because of the heat. Chris DeValentis' group was offered a refund after the cancellation, but he wasn't pleased. It was uh, kind of a disappointment, and it doesn't seem like it's that hot, but I guess a lot of people were going down. Organizers surrounded the course with cooling and water stations, but that wasn't enough against the triple-digit heat. There wasn't a shortage of, shortage of anything, but at this point in the game, we obviously want to take the best interests of our spectators and our participants, and right now, we think they'd be best in, obviously, air-conditioned locations. Which was all right for some. I'm really okay with it. I know that's not the popular belief, but I figure that they know what they're talking about, and they wouldn't cancel unless they had to. Laura Mogensen didn't get to participate, but just being in the atmosphere with good friends was was prize enough. And this was the first time the Warrior Dash was in Kansas City. There will be other Midwest locations, and some of those disappointed runners plan to travel to the next Midwest Warrior Dash location. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.